fellas just showing you guys how to service a Ford Ranger PX 2012 3.2 diesel so first thing you have to make sure you remove the covers that comes here and there because you need to access the oil sump which is right over there so you can jack it up if you want to to get a more access clear access to it uh, to remove the oil filter which is right over there I hope you can see it it's right really down under there uh, you can access from here which will be really difficult but if you jack it up and just remove that cover the you can see the rubber if you just remove the rubber it's right in front of you so get a 27 mil um, wrench or 29 should be able to open but you have to keep in mind that you have only 10 minutes to change the oil and the oil filter do not extend it otherwise you might damage the oil pump as you can see I've already changed it spilled some on the ground silly me but it does take a 16 mil or 14 mil uh, wrench to open the uh, bolt on the oil sump which you should be able to access it so uh, if you have two people it takes easier so one person does the oil filter and you do the uh, oil sump itself so it started at the same time have a time already make sure you get it done under 10 minutes this is my old oil which you can see you can always recycle the oil that I used is Belvoline Synth Power Full Synthetic FE5230. It was recommended, so why not? I did have two buckets, one for the oil sump. I had one for the oil filter, because we do have some oil in there as well. Just to make sure we don't get any on the ground, which I did, and I have to clean it up. Once you're done putting the oil in, just take a dipstick, take it out. And uh, make sure you are above the max level, which you can't see, but I'm almost max. I'm just gonna put some more in. So, this is the old oil filter, as you can see, it's pretty dark oil. But the new one did come with an o ring. So, once you remove the oil uh, thing out, not sure what you call it, but just remove it, put the new one in, put the remove the old oil ring. Uh, o -ring and put the new one in and you should be able to screw it back in which does take a small amount of time not too much also you have to make sure you use a degreaser once you take the oil uh, filter out degrease the cover clean it up and put the new one in I also changed the air filter so that's the old one I had if you want to put a new one all you have to do is just remove that one remove all the clips as you can see I've chucked the new one in there should be a pretty easy to do it with some of the stuff I did off the camera before starting to record to record but I hope you guys can get it I also changed the cabin filter which uh, you have to unclip the glove box and get that. Yep. So once you remove it, undo the clips here. Crap, let me get some light. So you have a clip right there. Just squeeze it, pull it out. I'll give you a demonstration. So take this clip out and you have the cabin filter, just replace it if your aircon is stinky or if you're not sure when it was changed, it's always better to change it, it's not too expensive. So that's changed, this was my old cabin filter, uh, it's pretty bad, I'm not sure when it was changed last time so I had to swap it. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, that's the air filter if you guys need the code. 
that's the cabin filter I used uh, which is also Rykel and that's the oil filter that's pretty much it if you guys have any more questions uh, just check it my way if I can answer your questions I'll be happy to um, most of you guys that are watching this most likely already seen uh, and read about the 10 minutes time frame so it's not that difficult to do it within 10 minutes anyway uh, it was my first time changing the oil it wasn't that difficult it took me under 10 minutes to fix it all